राम 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 भगवान श्री योगी राम सूरत कुमार की जाए सर्वों योगी राम सूरत कुमार प्रणाम एवरी डे we have been going through glimpses of bhagwan's grace working in different ways in different circumstances in different lives of different devotees today by his grace pure grace that we are able to be here in his powerful shrine and sing together his powerful name yogi ram sarat kumar we have submitted all the namma lotuses at the feet of bhagwan now today we shall witness another scene from the life of a devotee we saw some time back how in saudi arabia bhagwan helped a mother when she called out when she screamed his name the great devotion and desperation the lithium cell swallowed by her son came down of its own accord to the intestine and out what a miracle without any surgery which the doctors were planning by a mother in a very simple way she was only stroking with a pendant of the chain which contained bhagwan's picture from the heart to the intestine of her son the little son we also saw how a mother and daughter helpless mother and daughter who are living in canada had a problem a health problem the mother had to go to a cat, go to a cataract surgery and how complicated the health systems of canada how expensive the treatment and despite all the hurdles with the help of the name of bhagwan yogi ram sarat kumar they crossed all these hurdles successfully and the operation went off very well they are now happy and well now today a girl named uttara she lives in germany she is a legal expert practicing in a place called den haag in germany 
in a criminal court. Her brother Vignesh is a law consultant in a company in a place called Hamburg. Malathiru, Sri Subramani, very devoted to Bhagwan, sent this experience of a devotee. One day, Uttara's uncle, Sri Paramesh, received a call from Uttara. Her mother, Renika, had been in has been in coma for quite some time in a hospital 30 kilometers away from Hamburg. It's a specialty hospital for lungs, for problems with lungs. And Uttara rang up to her uncle Paramesh to say that the next day was the day her grandmother passed away. In memory of her grandmother, she wanted to do something. She rang up to Sri Paramesh to remind him the following day was her grandmother's passing day. Then Sri Paramesh suggested to her, look, tomorrow, in the name of your grandmother, just thinking of her, buy some food and offer it to some beggar there, someone who is in need of food, someone who is hungry and in need of food. Uttara said, oh, it is very difficult to find such people here, especially where the hospital is. The it's a place called Grofendorf. Grofendorf. It's a German name where the hospita hospital is. Now, she would take a train every weekend to go to the place to see her mother. She was thinking, Uncle, how will I feed somebody there? The place I go to where the hospital is, is full of rich people. There would be nobody willing to take a bread roll from me. She permit you said, don't worry, you have to think of your grandmother, buy a bread roll and offer. Just think of Bhagwan, and Bhagwan will see to the rest. And you do it as an offering to Bhagwan. The rest will be seen by Bhagwan. So now, as usual, she took the train to the place called Grofundo. And when she came out of the station, she crossed the road to the side of the shops. She went straight to one of the usual shops she visited, got a bread roll. Now as she was coming down, she was thinking, she, she was also chanting Yogi Ram Sarutma Nama. In fact, when she rang up and told her uncle, she said, Uncle, for the sake of my mother who is in coma, we have all been chanting Yogi Ram Sarutma Nama. Now that day also she kept on chanting, chanting, chanting with an added worry and anxiety that she should find somebody there to whom she could possibly give the bread. So as she came anxious to find someone chanting Yogi Ram Nama, she heard in German somebody saying, Excuse me. Then she looked in the direction 
and there was a tree with a platform around and a man was there. The man had a smile on his lips. She looked, just looked in that direction and she looked around. She didn't think that she was being told that. She walked at him. After a few steps, again she heard, Please, excuse me. Now she turned and saw that man straight away looking at her with the same smile. She knew for sure that it was she who was called by him. She went near and just imagine in the place in Germany, a foreign country, a village full of rich people where one could not find any poorly beggar who would ask for food. Here was a man who said with a smile, Mother, I'm hungry, I feel hungry. Will you please give me some food? She just couldn't believe her eyes that she saw really one asking for food. But then she remembered she was chanting Yogi Ram Nama and anything is possible by the glory of the name though she was stunned. She went near and gave the bread to him just as her uncle said as an offering to Baba. Now the man smiled this smile became broader. He was very happy that he got something from her. And then he said, he gave her a piece of advice. Please give food always when somebody asks, somebody says he's hungry. She nodded her head. And then she, he added a sentence that threw her out completely. He said, he raised both his hands and said with a smile, my father blesses you. Just put yourself in her position. She was very anxious to find somebody who could take a roll of bread from her. And she knew by her experience she could not find anybody there because it was a village of rich people. Though she was familiar with some people living by the platform. But here suddenly she heard someone calling out, asking for bread, saying he was hungry. And what was more, he said, with his both hands raised in benediction. My father blesses you. Now she knew that it could only be Bhagwan. And the man himself kind of danced his way forward and realizing that it is Bhagwan, she took one or two steps forward and looked as though he knew that she was looking. He also turned his head, raised his hand and walked away. Just like Bhagwan always did. Now it was her turn to dance her way to the hospital in complete joy that engulfed her. She reached the hospital, she went inside her mother's room, saw her and came out 
and went to the park nearby. She sat there and went through every step of the incident. How anxious she was, how much she was chanting the name, thinking of her grandmother, her uncle's advice, her attempt to find somebody and this man calling out himself, every bit, every detail of the whole event she went through and waves of joy engulfed her. She knew it was Bhagawan all through and suddenly she felt that her mother would get well soon. What a great blessing in a foreign country. How did he know that she was walking with a bread roll, with a prayer and the Nama? And there he appeared promptly to ask for what she expected, what a devotee wanted. Our Bhagavan is all pervasive, all knowing and all powerful. This deeply touching incident filled my eyes when I read it. How compassionate, how generous Bhagavan is. Now this Bhagavan is here in front of us, ever ready to shower his grace and let us appeal to his generosity once again. Jai Avirati. Surat ko